um, I've been with the company a year and a half. The company's been in existence longer than I've been alive, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I mean, it's just such a diverse company. You name it, the company's into it. Now, are you competitors with these guys in the back? They're from Good Rich Aeronautical. Do you guys compete? I just want to know if we can if we can get a little action going. <laughs> 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 no, 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 it's, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. All right. I'm Michelle Nashoff. Uh, I'm a manufacturer's uh, sales representative for American companies uh, that uh, provide custom fabrication services. And I'm really here to learn to add more to to be able to write uh, my blog. I'm the author of this book, Can American Manufacturing Be Safe? Why We Should and How We Can. And so I'm here to, to <coughs> learn more so I can be writing um, more accurately about things that affect American manufacturers. Okay. And so should we have an author and a mist? So, do you sign copies of your book? I yes, mean, I do. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Roy Paulson, who's speaking later, is a member is on the board of NAM, the National Association of, Ma of Manufacturers. One of the goals that we have in this series and some of the other things that we're doing is to try to help manufacturers be more <coughs> effective. And you got General Atomics and Goodyear and a lot of companies like that that are big, big companies and do a lot of that. But yet you have smaller companies that are growing and export.